seems like every week there's a new diet coming out claiming to unlock the secrets of nutrition. And sometimes it can get very confusing about what to eat or what not to eat for your best health. That can get even more confusing when cancer is thrown in the mix. I spent a lot of time trying to answer my questions on the internet, but I thought I'd save you guys some time. So I tracked down Caitlin Hill, a registered dietitian at the Tom Baker Cancer Center here in Calgary. I asked her about some of the common questions that she gets from cancer patients and survivors. So let's see what she has to say. Cancer survivors often ask me what kinds of food should I eat and really the best place to start is with the Canada's Food Guide. It's a great general resource to give you just an idea of what types of foods you should include in your diet. One of the main things to look at with the Canada's Food Guide is portion sizes. So fruits and vegetables, the usual portion size is about half a cup. Grain products is the biggest issue, so a portion size of things like pasta or rice is only half of a cup. Places like Boston Pizza, where you get a bowl of pasta, they give you four cups of pasta, which is eight servings of grain products, which is more than you normally need in a whole day. With meat products, a serving of meat is the size of a deck of cards or the palm of your hand, and most of us are eating two to three times that at a serving, so just be mindful of the serving sizes when you're looking at the Canada's Food Guide. Um, Canada's Food Guide is available on the Health Canada website. You can download it and you can also personalize it for your age and your sex. And you can also access it through any of the dietitians through your hospital or through the cancer centers. So people often ask me if there's specific foods they can include in their diet that will help prevent cancer or help fight cancer. And there are some foods that might prevent cancer. So lots of them are fruits and vegetables because they're high in antioxidants, high in anti-inflammatories. Um, things like garlic and onions are great and a tip with those is to let them sit for about 10 minutes after you cut them or crush them and that helps protect some of those anti-cancer compounds once you eat them. Um, things like turmeric is a great spice, it's the top anti-inflammatory spice. The recommendation is one teaspoon per day. With turmeric, it's not well absorbed by our bodies on its own, so you need to have a pinch of black pepper and that increases the absorption by a thousand. So if you're using it in a prepared curry powder or curry paste, it already has the pepper in it. If you're using it on the own, make sure that you're adding a pinch of black pepper. Um, people's favorite kind of preventative food is dark chocolate, so that seems to be the easiest for people to include in their diet. And the recommendation is about one and a half ounces per day, so just a small square. So the biggest thing with trying to prevent cancer or prevent a reoccurrence of cancer, I think is really increasing your intake of fruits and vegetables. So try to get a fruit or a vegetable in at each of your meals, and that's really gonna do the most nutritionally to help prevent cancer from occurring. One of the biggest myths around nutrition and cancer is the sugar feeds cancer myth. Um, which is a myth. So sugar does not feed cancer. All of our cells in our body use sugar as energy. So whether it's a healthy cell or a cancer cell, if you eliminate sugar from your diet, it doesn't prevent cancer from growing or from occurring. And if you have the sugar in your diet, it doesn't increase your risk of cancer. So you still don't wanna have a lot of sugar in your diet because obesity is linked to an increased risk of cancer, but you still can include it in moderation. I think one of the biggest things is not using supplements to try to cure cancer or to try to prevent it. If you're getting good nutrition through your food, you don't need supplements. And our concern with supplements is that a lot of them can have harmful side effects. So if you are considering taking any herbal supplements or any alternative medicines, make sure you're checking with your oncologist or your pharmacist so that they're not interacting with any medications you are taking and that they're not gonna do any harm to you because that's our biggest concern, is the harm. Well, that wasn't as complicated as I thought. Follow the Canada Food Guide, watch your portion sizes, eat fruits and veggies at every meal, limit your sugar intake so that you can maintain a healthy weight, and if you're gonna take supplements, check with your doctor or registered dietitian first. The best thing about nutrition is that it's never too late to start.